it's just reps that you're going to need for the season. They say football is won or lost in the trenches, but not when it comes to seven on seven. For more than two decades, many high school kids play seven on seven in the summer, a chance for the skill position players to stay sharp in the off season. Some people call it basketball on the turf a little bit because you get so sp you know, spreading out, throwing the ball around. The rise of passing attacks in the NFL and college have only helped fuel what has become a massively popular sport in Texas. In fact, there's a state tournament each year in College Station, and this year, Hebron High School won it all. And we have a new first-time state championship. Unlike traditional football, seven-on-seven seven does not have offensive or defensive lines. There is no tackling, and it's played on a 40-yard field. So when it comes time to strap on the pads in the fall, what good does this do? build a chemistry and bond with my teammates that I know that'll help us through the season and make us the best we can be together. Heber and quarterback Jacob Buniff and his father organized the seven on seven team when Jacob was a freshman. B.I. Now a senior, he's still playing with the same teammates. I mean, these guys have been playing since middle school. Seven on seven no doubt helps with timing between quarterback and receiver and the tournaments are a chance to showcase their talent to scouts. What does that do for you for the 2021 football season? Absolutely nothing. You got to go out and win them, especially the teams we have to play week in and week out. But to win a state championship in the fall, you can't do it without those guys in the trenches. In Carrollton, I'm Jonah Javad.